The South Alabama Jaguars. Kane Womack did a pretty phenomenal job with this team last year. Went 5-7. and seven. They do lose quarterback Jake Bentley. They do lose wide receiver Jalen Tolbert. But those two, it took a little while for them to, to really mesh and, and get the chemistry right. Uh, Tolbert didn't score a lot of touchdowns, especially early, which was really strange. I mean, he's he's an NFL guy. He was taken in the draft. So uh, the linebacker, Jamal Brooks, is gone. Other than that, uh, you know, pretty good. They got they, at, The numbers don't say it. Offense, number 93 in returning production. Um, defense, number 55 in returning production. The roster strength overall is number 98. But I got a pretty decent outlook on this team. Uh, looking at the offense, Toledo transfer, Carter Bradley, does he take over at quarterback? Or does Desmond Trotter regain his 2020 form when he and Jalen Tolbert were such a dangerous combination? Uh, that's the biggest question for this team uh, is the offense here. Four returning, or excuse me, four returning starters on the offensive line. So that certainly helps, but they got to improve their rushing success rate. They were number 108 in that metric. They were number 126 in FBS with only 3.05 yards per rush. They did bring in transfer running backs from Mississippi State and Virginia Tech, so that should up the talent overall. But again, you got to get the offensive line to do something. And with four of them coming back that were starters, uh, you got a lot of experience on that line. You should be able to improve a little bit. As far as defense goes, uh, again, number 55 in returning production, 66% coming back. They did a great job coaching defense last year. Kane Womack, remember, was the D.C. at Indiana. Uh, he was a D.C. at South Alabama before that and then went up to Indiana, really changed around that defense, uh, made them rather feisty, and then he came back and took this head coaching job. They you know, they were number 32 in P.P. Upper Drive last year, and that was, I mean, I'm not going to say elite, but it was really good. They were number 13 in rushing success rate allowed, number 59 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, they've got four new transfers coming in on the defensive line, one at linebacker, three and uh, in the secondary. The unit was great at stopping the run, but uh, they were number 59 again uh, as far as passing success rate allowed. I'm curious, can this secondary improve? They they brought in a bunch of transfers. They got eight transfers in on defense, and a lot of them from P5 places. So I, you know, the talent upgraded just a bit. We'll see. Uh, top players I've got listed, Jalen Wayne, A.J. DeShazer, uh, who's a linebacker, defensive end Charles Coleman, safety Keith Galman. And the cornerback, Daryl Luter, notice four of the five guys that I have listed as their top players are on defense. We'll say that. Looking at the keys of the season, it was a pretty good first year for Kane Womack. Defense was good. you got to figure out how to get the running game to spark the offense a bit. Uh, you brought in 15 transfers. 13 of them were P5ers. How quickly can you get them acclimated to the system on, uh, or get them acclimated to the system and on the field? Uh, I think it's a talent upgrade. We'll obviously see. I've got the Jaguars at 7-5. and five. I, I've got them losing to Central Michigan. I've got them losing to UCLA, losing to Louisiana, Georgia Southern, and Southern Miss. And I just realized I have them losing all but one of their road games. It flip-flop a couple here and there, right? It, I think 7-5 and five looks pretty good for this team. Maybe 6-6. Six and six. Uh, You get to 6-6, six and six, you make a bowl game. That is improvement. That will certainly be welcomed down in Mobile, Alabama. So that is uh, that is the way that I will go there. I like Kane Womack. I think South Alabama's done a pretty good job with him. Um, you got to continue improving. you got to keep on rolling. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.